Well, this is the 85 x Excuse the mess. I've got one week until the first days of shooting of the feature film. Well, the proof of concept for the feature film, so... Ah, uh, deadline. Ah, uh, the usual. We're fine. Probably. But I'm going to be setting this up. I've got the end of 3 S1 printing some masks that we'll be using. Uh, this is the old faithful workhorse, which I've had for a couple of years now, and is generally doing a good job. This is the new shiny model. I feel like the results are going to be, this one's really quick, which is nice. This one, since the firmware upgrade, is also reasonably quick. Uh, that one's got a larger build volume at 220 by 220 by 270. This is about 220 by 220 by 220. Uh, but this is for color. That's one color. Uh, I feel like having both of them is going to be good. Kind of like having the Falcon laser cutter and also, oh well, yeah, you can't see it because it's packed away. But the Laser Pecker LP5, two very different laser cutters, but between the two of them, like, you can cut anything and do any kind of use case. So, yeah, I'm going to assemble this, get it all plugged together, and then start printing off masks and also like some other props and just sort of see how it goes. Partially complete. Amusingly, there's a sticker for this one step over what was there before, so someone made a mistake somewhere, but at least they updated it. It's kind of funny. Okay, assembled. It's pretty easy, just snapping things together. A couple of little machine screws. Uh, easy so far. So now it's plugged in. Turn this on. <laughs> A free MP3 player. Please confirm that all packing materials inside the device have been removed. Check. Please confirm that the three locking screws in the bed have been removed. Check. 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 The device will perform an automatic self-check, which will take a few minutes. This auto levels, I'm going to be... I mean, again, the end of the three is great. I'm, I am a fan, but having to manually level it like semi-regularly is a little bit of a hassle. This being automatic, pretty happy with that. I mean the industry is a couple of years old now, it's just, you know, it's still holding together. This is just newer tech. One thing is, I mean it's, it's not, a, not a big deal. Like this is un insulated underneath so I can't touch the bottom of the build plate to see if it's hot. I mean it's got the temperature on the screen but just with that one I can you know just check the temperature this one I don't want to touch the surface obviously because it'll grease it up but this is not it's, not it's not a problem it's just you know it's fine it's fine Hi. I get the feeling this printer is going to be extremely fast which is great because I have screwed up and not left myself enough time to get all the props finished for the film next week. Vibration test. <laughs> Haven't that counted time down and this hum rise in pitch is strangely ominous and threatening? Vibration testing the machine or the bench. That's kind of cool. I just started inserting it and then it self loads. I still don't know because it, these. It just said to put these in any order. So I'm interested to see how it knows which is which. Filament type. PLA, can I say, you just tell it, oh that's cool. Oh, this touch screen isn't amazing. PLA white, PLA black, and we're done, great. 
you're okay. Oh, is he just shaking? Jesus, that's kind of alarming. Printer is printing. That was the first layer, so it's probably going a little bit slower. We'll see how it goes. Alright, there we go. That's the business. Holy shit! <laughs> oh my god. Jesus Christ, that's fast. I'm sure there's like proper aficionados out there who's like, do you think that's fast? You haven't seen fast, but good lord. This thing's insane. Holy crap. This is definitely going to speed up my production timeline. Are you eating the silica gel? The one thing to not eat. Actually, there's a lot of stuff in here to not eat. Okay, good boy. This reminds me of the robot in Wally -E who just goes around beating the crap out of people. Just twitchy and violent. Dramatic. Sick. Alright. I like you. And they're just purging like this and they just Falls out the back. I guess. Oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> oh, that's adorable. Look at that little hat. Okay, well that was easy and very promising. I'm gonna start in on printing mask in parallel. Uh, exactly the same print as this one. See how that goes. See how we turn out. 13 minutes for a little coin. Not too bad. Okay, never mind. Do it the other way. I'm just going to put the camera down for a second. Yeah, it's pretty good. Print quality is pretty good. I mean, hard to tell on just this basic thing, but certainly nothing, nothing bad about it. So I have plugged in the Wi-Fi after all, because it turns out that's kind of the only way to connect to this. Um, it looks like it's updating itself, which is nice. Seems like Prusa Slicer doesn't really love Flash Forge. I have no presets. I tried to make a custom one, but it crashed on me. I'm not sure why. Uh, so I've downloaded Orca, which is Flash Forge's own native software, and it's set up to Optimize with it. This and I'll just like. I think I'll probably still prefer Prusa for the Ender, so maybe I'll just use both. Maybe I'll migrate to Orca. I don't know. See how we go. Not really important at this stage. Uh, so just imported the 3MF, which seems to have come through fairly well. It's got the supports and stuff in there, so we'll hit print and race them. Basically, this one's got a head start of about an hour or two. Uh, I think this one will overtake it though. Four hours, so yeah, it's half, pretty much half the time. I haven't optimized this for speed yet. I'll just sort of get it going with the defaults and then see what I can squeeze out of it. But four hours 40 is already pretty good for, for this print. How's this one looking? So this is, a super quick print, super quick version of this, like single layer. These are basically disposable masks. They're supposed to be like thrown across the room. Uh, there is a heavier version of it, which is a bit more uh, durable, which they'll actually be wearing. So this is this is a speed print. This is optimized for speed. The original took 37 hours. 20 for the bottom half, 17 for the top. But I wasn't really cranking that for speed, I just wanted it to be good and strong and not fail halfway through. This one's yeah, eight times faster, but a lot, a lot of that is the, the settings of the file itself. So this one's doing, I think it's set for 300 millimeters per second. That one since the firmware is up to 160, so basically twice as fast, although the travel speed on this is 600, which is insane. Uh, we will 
let's see what I can get that up to. But even if it's just just that, I'm still happy. So I know also nice. This is like a Core XY, I think it's called. That one having as like a hotbed slinger. I think that's called. Uh, like it's it's fine. It doesn't like shape things and make them fall over. But I think this one <laughs> uh, it's just a bit more robust. Okay, little guy. Let's see what you got. It's a real nice even first layer. Like the the other one is usually a bit rough on the first layer. But that, to be fair, that's almost certainly my fault. Just having the it's a depth probably not perfectly set and the bed not perfectly level. Uh, this one being auto. Oh wow, here we go. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's oh, way more than twice as fast as the other one. This is also using the uh, high-speed PLA, which is probably important. <laughs> Shaking the whole table around a little. I mean, this thing is on feet, to be fair. Like, it's got... Blah, 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 blah. Great, okay, well. All going well. Should have a mask relatively soon. That's that one finished in slightly less time, about half an hour quicker than advertised. And this one just about just the year tips to go. Six and a half hours. That's about seven hours. Okay, so it's not quite twice as fast, but I also haven't optimized that. This is running at full speed, as is. Print quality. Oof. Okay, that was just the support. Uh, that is not the printer's fault. That's because I did this on super quick settings. Like one one wall. These are these masks are just meant to be chucked around. Print quality looks pretty good. Not flawless, but again, like actually, I mean, I'm not even gonna judge it on this print because it was such a rush job. So, but good for for that certainly. Happy with the printer. Yeah, definitely happy with the printer. Nice. And it's four, four hours and a quarter for that, which is pretty good.